Hey everybody, welcome back to A Sweet Journey. I am Sonia, also known as Sweets, and I just wanted to check back in um, earlier this week. I feel like maybe it was Sunday or Monday. Yeah, I think it was Sunday. Uh, I was saying that I had an appointment to get a colonoscopy, and uh, I did get that done on Monday. And I just wanted to check back in because it was, it was so sweet. Somebody was like, I hope your colonoscopy goes well or something like that. Thank you for that. That was really sweet. Um, and this, I don't know, I'm on this self-care kick. And I think there's a, it's just where I am. And so um, one of the things that I just, I feel it is important to remind everybody is the idea of getting uh, yourself checked out regularly. And there is so much value in it. One of the things that I added in the last video is that uh, my sister passed away of colon cancer, and so um, we have to get colonoscopies like every five years instead of, and, and I had to get it a little bit earlier than I think normal. And um, it's because I think if you're within 10 years of a deceased person with colon cancer, then uh, you start. Anyway, uh, so they did find a polyp. Um, she said it looked precancerous, but she sent it off for testing. But again, she took it out. I was one, really excited that it was only one because I've had multiples in the past. And two, just excited to go and get it taken care of, to get it in front of it. Now imagine if I didn't. Imagine if I literally just decided not to go get a colonoscopy. Imagine if I just didn't believe in, like, like it's all a hype or something. And I just let years go by. It's just, it's not okay. It, it just doesn't, it, that doesn't work. Because uh, some things are preventable. And for me, I feel like colon cancer is preventable for me and my family members. Because if we follow this routine of going and I just, you know, God's will be done at the end of the day. Uh, but one of the things that we can do, we can get involved in, is just going to get a colonoscopy regularly, whatever regularly looks like from our um, our doctor's uh, recommendation. So that's one thing. I have tomorrow, I have my gynecological visit. And I know this feels very personal. I don't know if you feel this, but anyway, it's all in the, it is in the realm of self-care. And uh, again, there are things that are preventable in our lives and I'm in my 50s now and so I I really take these things seriously. I typically um schedule around my birthday which is in July, but this year I I've, I've been doing a lot of travel, a lot of travel. And so that has caused me not to be able to do it around my birthday. That's how I remember. But anyway, I have literally like all of my appointments set up like boom 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 and I'm going to get it done because I really value self-care and self-care is not just a massage. It's not just going on a retreat, but self-care is actually taking care of ourselves preventatively, if that is a word that feels appropriate. I don't know. Um, but it matters that we actually take care of ourselves and go and get checkups. My mammogram is next Monday. So now we know all of that. And so again, it is my intention to um, get in front of things, get checked out. Um, the one thing I did miss is my dental appointment. I need to get that scheduled. I didn't do that, but I will get that done. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to stop in and just say everything is good. And uh, just a little tip, just to kind of encourage, if you are watching this, take that as a sign. If you have not set appointments for this year, um, at least, set appointments get your parts check it out <laughs> get your parts checked out that's that's important um last thing that i want to share and then i am done i am off to bed is i had four or five weeks of travel back to back to back and i was on a call today and uh, and one thing that i uh, experienced is two out of those four or five weeks I was sick and uh, and that's another thing that's just really speaking to me right now just about the idea that I have to be more careful 
I have to understand that the world is nasty. The airport is disgusting. Airplanes are full of germs. And even though I hate wearing a mask, I really do. It makes my sinus flare up. Uh, it's necessary. Because when I do, the weeks that I did, I didn't get sick. Um, right now, my nose is running because we are preparing for snow on Sunday in Denver, Colorado. I'll leave that there for a minute. Just snow. <laughs> I love that for me. Um, so, yeah. So one of the things that I've just been thinking about is just the fact that um, I have to really, really be mindful of my travel and taking care of myself while I'm traveling. And so it is holistically taking care of myself. So it is taking care of my mental health, taking care of my physical health, taking care of my spiritual health, my emotional health. And so there are things that I've decided I have to put into place. I have to set those things up before uh, I travel again. And just the bottom line and the thing that I really want to encourage is that all of the self-care that I talk about at the end of the day, there is a purpose by which we are here. And it is difficult to accomplish that purpose if we're sick, if our body won't allow it, if uh, you know we're out of commission. And so to really lean into the thing that we are called to do, um, the thing that we are excited about doing, the thing that we are here to do, it really matters a great deal that we take care of ourselves so that we can actually do the thing, okay? That is the message. Hopefully this message finds you healthy and well, and uh, please take this as a sign if you have not made appointments to go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you next time. Bye.